everyone. It's Granny. Are you all ears? Well, let's talk about idioms. What is an idiom? Well, Granny says that an idiom is a phrase that adds flavor to your message. For example, this celery. You can eat it plain or you can add some extra flavor like chocolate chips and peanut butter. Mm -mm. Now, let's add some flavor to communication like saying raining on my parade. Now, what does it mean to say raining on your parade? Does it mean A, that rain is pouring down on your parade? Or does it mean B, being disappointed by something or someone? That's correct. B is the right answer. Being disappointed by something or someone means raining on your parade. Hey, Sadness, I'm so excited to go with you to your favorite park. Are you ready? Yeah, Joy, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but the park is closed. It's under construction. Oh, I'm sorry, Sadness. Well, I did see your favorite football team is playing tonight on TV. Do you want to watch? Yeah, I guess I'd be okay. I don't mean to rain on your parade again, Joy, but the starting quarterback is injured, so they have to play with the second string. Oh, I'm sorry, Sadness. Well, at least that quarterback will get some practice, and that's a good thing. Well, hey, was that a flying squirrel? Um... Uh, no, Joy, I don't mean to rain on your parade, but that was a leaf. Hey, Mommy, I'm excited to go to Dak's birthday party. Oh, sweet girl, I wanted to talk to you about that. His mom just called. And I don't mean to rain on your parade, but he's sick. Oh, poor Dak. I hope he feels better. Being disappointed by something or someone means the same thing as raining on your parade. Another perfect day. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this day an F. We made it! Be positive. Whatever. Be positive. Thanks, everyone. Now, friends, if you found this helpful and fun, please like and subscribe. And if there are any idioms you'd like for Granny to define, please list those in the comments. Please come back and visit soon.